Hello, Leo Dess here, Chairman of the PropTech Advisory Board with SIA. Very excited to launch today the first of our education series that we're doing. Dan Kremens is going to walk you through what PropTech is. This is intended to be both an internal and external conversation around how security overlaps with PropTech. We'll be looking to do many, many more of these. We invite all of you to join us because this will be a community that is going to put together this information that not only helps internally in the organization, but then externally out as we look into the commercial real estate market. I want to thank everybody who's participated, especially Dan, of taking the time, energy, and care to put this together. With that, Dan Kremens, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Kremens. I'm a senior director at March Networks, a leader in video-enabled business intelligence. And I'm here to talk to you about PropTech. So um, a few months ago, I had joined the uh, SIA PropTech Advisory Board. And one of the projects that uh, I worked on with a number of the members is really defining PropTech from a security perspective. So to help everyone understand that, we put together a short presentation, which I'm going to take you through today. So getting started, let's talk about the objectives here. So really there's two types of people that we came up with this presentation for. The first one is basically for those people in the prop tech industry to really better understand everything there is about physical security solutions and, and how they play into a prop tech solution. And the other thing that a lot of people really don't understand is how physical security solutions can actually be used for non-security applications which can be a big part of PropTech solutions. On the flip side is for those of us in the physical security industry to really better understand what PropTech is and the incredible amount of business opportunities that it can bring for both existing and new projects. So why are we looking at this? There is a tremendous opportunity from a financial standpoint. A lot of investment is going into this and here are some statistics. So I'm sure you've heard about other industries like fintech or biotech, but PropTech is the newest one. And here's a statistic. In 2021, $32 billion was invested in real estate technology companies for PropTech, making it one of the most compelling tech industries out there. So for this reason, there's a lot of activity on here. A lot of companies are looking at PropTech, and that's why uh, SIA is looking at it as well. So what is PropTech? It's actually pretty simple. It's really all of the technology used to put together people information to simplify every aspect of a commercial property. So if you think about all the different things that you do from the management of it, selling of an operation, that actually requires a lot of backend technology. And that's what PropTech is about. So going into a deeper dive, Think about all the different life cycles around a commercial property. So it really starts with the design of the property. There's a lot of work, um, technology used to figure out exactly how to design the building, all aspects of it. Then the building is designed. So now you need to start marketing and selling the property and also doing research and purchase. And last part, once everything is done, there's the daily management of the property. So now how does physical security play into this? So really there's two key parts we're talking about here, thinking again about the life cycle. So think about the design of the building and think of the management property and all the other aspects that go into it. So security and safety is a key part of that. Within there is access control, video intrusion, building automation, the tenant experience, what a person going to the building experiences, and then other things as well. So we're gonna dive more into this. So security solutions create a tremendous amount of data that can be used for PropTech solutions. And the data created is about people, vehicles, and other assets in the building. So there is a wide variety of applications that this data can be used for. So for people, things like demographics, time and attendance, occupancy, delivery and service, the same applies for vehicles because a lot of times a vehicle in many ways is like a person you still require certain technology to bring your vehicle into a building, certain space to park the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is go into a few specific use cases to really understand exactly how physical security and prop tech can fit together. So this first one, so a lot of us probably take for granted when we go into a building and go to the different uh, floors of a building 
um, take advantage of different services, but just sit back for a second and think about the entire experience. So this is a great example of some new prop tech companies that are creating solutions like you're seeing now. So in order for these to work, it has to integrate with physical security and access control. So here's an example. So let's say I'm a person and I'm going to visit a building tomorrow because I basically want to use that space as an office just, just for the day. So the night before, I'm basically going to set up an enrollment. So I'm going to enroll myself. Now, when I get in the morning, I, I'm driving my car. If this is a, um, a secure facility, the parking gate, okay, has to open. So I need a credential for that. Then there may be reserved parking spots. So I need to know where I need to go for that. Now I have to go into the building. So obviously there's a credential for that. But once I'm in the building, there could be different tenants within that building. And each tenant may have required different credential, different access control system gain access. So then I go to the different floor. Now there's a number of different things I need to do. Maybe I need to reserve, like I said, an office space. Maybe I'm going to a meeting room or it could be some other simple things like I'm basically going to the coffee machine or I'm going to the cafeteria to buy some food, or I'm going to make a copy. So the, here's a number of different examples. And if you think about it, you might say, well, there's usually different ways to solve this. Well, I might have an access badge. I might have a key, a physical key, or I pull out my wallet. So the prop tech, uh, tech companies are working with physical security companies to come up with one solution. So think about it, just one solution. It's typically a, a mobile credential. And I use my mobile credential and I can walk in the entire place of the building and access anything I want, I could use that to pay. So that's a great example of the type of technology that's being used today for PropTech. So here's another use case. We've, for a number of years, we've heard about big data and how that can be used. So physical buildings are no different than any other application. So a building creates a tremendous amount of data. And from the physical security side, I can tell you from experience, things like video, access control, create a tremendous amount of data. So all this data is created every single day and a lot of it is not used. Sometimes it's used for security purposes, but it can be used for a number of other different applications. So all this data would basically be created. It needs to be stored in a warehouse, okay, where it can then be uh, used and analytics applied to it. So what you wanna do is basically collect the data and establish a baseline of what is the norm. And then once you have that baseline, now what you can do is use analytics to identify anomalies. Now, once you identify anomalies, you can set up things like different metrics and you can use the metrics to do different things and take certain actions. So when something happens, I could have an immediate alert or maybe I wanna go back and I wanna do a search. Or the other thing I wanna do is basically now I have all this data on a daily basis, I can do things like prediction. So now I have all this information. I'm turning the big data into what I like to call smart data. So now I take the smart data and depending on the person building, the different personas, they can use it for different applications. And as obviously security is one application, but real estate facilities people, they can use this data as well. IT threat intelligence, they can use this data as well. So I'm gonna give you another example, another use case of exactly how data like this can be used. And it's this, location awareness. So one of the things that has really changed in the last couple of years is the workspace, all right? If you think about what's changed with COVID, um, hybrid working has become a reality. So a lot of building owners are now trying to figure out how to maximize their space for the best advantage, given that a lot of times people are not coming to work every single day and they don't need all the space. So they want to figure out what parts of the building are used, what parts of the buildings are not used. So by collecting all data, you can now understand where people are in the building and create location awareness. And again, depending on who you are in the facility, you'll have different applications. So if I'm a building visitor, I've never been before, I can use this information to figure out where I need to go next. If I'm a tenant, I can go in and say, all right, which room is reserved? What could I do? IT managers, maybe there's some assets that have moved outside the facility. Or if I'm a safety manager and there's an emergency, I wanna make sure that everyone who came in the building is now properly outside the building and safety. And the last thing, facility managers, again, I wanna understand where people are in my building, 
what parts are being used, where can I save money from an energy standpoint, which is a big deal these days. So something else that has come up for location awareness is the idea of basically real-time location technology. And there are different technologies used to power this application. So Wi-Fi, um, that's pretty used today, but that doesn't have a big, great accuracy. The accuracy, 10 meters. So the applications on this are really kind of widespread understanding, you know, per floor occupancy, for example. Now you can go to a more advanced technology, blue test. Now that gets more granular. So instead of down 10 meters, now you can get down to one meter. And now you can use that to actually find out where a person is. Then the last one is basically more like next-gen solutions. Now these are incredibly accurate. This is literally getting down to the centimeters. And you can understand you know, where people are sitting, okay? Exactly where people are in the building. And again, all of this information, all this data is being used to better understand a facility. And this is a key part of PropTech. So what do we talk about today? So really I ask everyone to think about three major parts about how security is enabling PropTech solutions. So the first thing is, Secure solutions are absolutely used throughout the life cycle of any building. Then secure solutions create a tremendous amount of data for a wide variety of applications. And then the key thing again on this one, don't just think about security. I can tell you from experience, things like video access control can be used for business intelligence applications to help buildings really understand what's going on. And the last thing, and I'm seeing it already, is that both security and prop tech companies are really working with each other, learning each other's technology to come up with a better advanced solutions. So if you'd like to learn more about prop tech and how SIA is helping to advance prop tech and physical security collaboration, here's a website you can go to, all right, at securityindustry.org and learn more about SIA prop tech advisory board. And if you'd like, you can even join it. I'm Dan Kremens. Thank you for your time today. <laughs>